How's it going, Marlin fans? Just going for a walk with my little co-reporter here. I say hi. Nope. Anyway, uh, yeah, interesting uh, Tuesday. I'm surprised that we saw the stock was up, um, you know, on the day. Admittedly, it only finished one cent up, and although it went up by 10 cents in the aftermarket. But the fact that it did rally, I was a little bit surprised surprised by. Um, you know, I'm not reading into it too much. That's not, not really any momentum for the stock. The company's in a pretty bad spot. I said yesterday, I think that we might be starting to see the beginning of the end with Marlin Automotive. And I think, you know, today's just like a little, <laughs> almost a dead cat bounce unofficially because the company's still not um, actually gone under, but just a lot of signs are pointing to that we might be near the end. Uh, you know, they're basically cutting back $170 million of expenses by shutting down almost all of their operations other than uh, production with the class one and three cargo vans um, and trucks, I should say. And, uh, you know, that's not going to, it's not going to do much. It's basically the company's kind of, by saying that they're going to cut out these expenses, the company's saying that, uh, you know, we've thrown millions of dollars at these projects, made all these acquisitions, uh, destroyed shareholder value, and there's going to be really nothing to show for it. Uh, so that's what that messaging is saying. It's the only way they're going to be able to like rein in expenses um, and potentially survive this year. I don't know if they can because they definitely need to raise some money. Uh, they've got a very high cash burn rate and the cash on hand that they had their last set of financials does not you know, line up for what they spend. And that's the bottom line. This company's on a pathway to insolvency, um, i.e. I bankruptcy in America, I guess. We call it insolvency in Australia. Uh, so yeah, so not looking great for Marlin Automotive despite what today's little bump in the stock says. I, honestly, I think the only thing that's gonna really save the company is they are to get like uh, a buyout of every ta a takeover. There might be someone who looks to pick it up uh, four cents on the dollar but i don't really foresee anything good coming for my automotive anytime soon uh it's been a bit of a fun ride watching i'll continue to keep my eye on the stock um but yeah it's just you know this last two years i've been following the stock and i'm sure anyone who's been following the stock for before that can sort of say it's a good um good story in uh what mismanagement of funds can mean and it shows you like how speculative new stocks can be yeah. yeah he's saying hi he's got an opinion too i think he's saying Mullen's crap that's what he's saying uh yeah anyway look it's a bit of a shame they seem to have some products which uh you know there's obviously a market for they had started to make some sales but i think they just tried to get themselves too big before they started generating any revenue and i think we're going to start seeing um some more sort of negative sort of news coming out from the company uh yeah anyway just a few thoughts today um yeah we'll see what happens for the rest of the week i'll keep i'm obviously going to keep following the stock um uh, would never recommend anyone to buy into this company now it's just you know pretty pretty trash i saw an inverse article the other day that sort of made the claim that david mitchery through the company has actually managed to pay himself 216 million dollars and now obviously a big part of that's going to be in company stock which you know, serving him right is kind of gone to being worth nothing but you know there's another one of the big problems that the company's face and everyone knows it that they've got a ceo who's just been like using it to you know pillage money and funds out of anyway i'll leave it at that catch in check in with you guys soon see you later so may the markets trade in your favor cheers